Okay, let us go for the next paragraph. Let n1 and n2 be the red and black balls respectively in box 1 and n3 and 4 in box 2. 59 says one of the boxes box 1 and box 2 was selected at random and a ball was drawn randomly out of this box. The ball was found to be red. If the probability that this red ball was drawn from box 2 is 1 by 3, then the correct option with the possible values of n1, n2, n3, n4. So, we can start it as selection of box simply half is the probability. Now, if we draw from box 1 a red ball, then it will be n1 upon n1 plus n2. Similarly, if we draw a red ball from box 2, then it will be n3 upon n3 plus n4. So, we can say that 1 by 3 equals half into n3 upon n3 plus n4 because we are looking for the probability for box 2 divided by half multiplied with n1 upon n1 plus n2 plus n3 upon n3 plus n4. Now, put the values of n1, n2, n3, n4 from the given 4 options and satisfy to check the correct answer. We obtain A and B as the correct one. Right. Now, let us go for last question that is question number 60. A ball is drawn from box 1 and transferred to box 2. If the probability of drawing a red ball from box 1 after this transfer is 1 by 3, then so, what we did? We took a ball from box 1 and transferred to box 2 and then now we are drawing a ball from box 1 after this transfer. The probability of getting a red ball is 1 by 3. So, this time we can say 1 by 3 equals first thing we draw a ball from box 1. It may be red or may be black. If it is red n 1 upon n 1 plus n 2 then we are left with n 1 minus 1 balls or we would have drawn black ball that is n 2 upon n 1 plus n 2 and then n 1 upon n 1 plus n 2 minus 1. So, now after this one again we do the same exercise we substitute n 1 n 2 in this equation from the given options to get the correct answer and on substituting we find c and d as the correct options. So, this is all for question number 60. Question number 46 in this code had little ambiguity it was given that the components of a vector are 4, 3 and 5 and when we take it we find a difficulty because it is not given that p q r are unit vectors. In case if p q r unit vectors even then minus p plus q plus r p minus q plus r minus p minus q plus r these are not unit vectors. If it is mentioned that by default these are also unit vectors in that case it can be solved otherwise it cannot be. This is all for today's paper of J advanced 2015 mathematics paper 2. Thank you.